G.I. Babies, it's your girl from RGI, and we're back with another video. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this look, make sure you guys stay tuned and keep watching. Today we are working with Recool Hair and I'm just showing you guys what came inside. This is a 22 inch 99J unit and I really wanted to do like a really cute hairstyle with this. So I was trying to do something I never done before. So this is just what it looks like after I washed it. I did bleached knots on this and I washed it and blow dried it. So this is the texture is body wave, but this is how it looks when it's washed and blow dried. And I do have some new products that I seen at the beauty store, the Eben lace melt spray and the lace melt spray in the black bottle. And I love the ORS products. I just never got to buy some more. So when I seen them at the beauty supply store, I went ahead and got some. So today we are doing a glueless unit and I'm using some bold hold liquid gold. Now, one thing that I would say is since I do my bald cap with just a spray, you don't want to apply this right on the hairline so that your bald cap will not slip back. So you see I do it behind and I do it in front and then I'm going to go ahead and sit under my dryer for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then afterwards, I like to go in with my hot comb just to slick the hair back a little bit more. I always do this. I just feel like it just gives me a little bit more security. Now, when you're cutting the lace on a glueless unit, do not be surprised if you see some lifting or anything. Like, I feel like some people be trying to make it seem like glueless units are just so, so easy to do when you really have to strategically do it so that the lace stays and everything looks right because if you're spraying all this product you're using a glueless product there are sometimes you see there is products gonna be out of place so i did have to go back in with my alcohol and clean that up and then that's what made it lift a little bit more so i had to go back in with my bow hold so i'm just showing you guys this because i don't want you guys to see the glueless unit and be like oh this is so easy i can do it it's not hard but you have to take your time you have to make sure you're doing it to the point where you know that this is gonna stay and it's not gonna lift. So I would say with the glueless unit, it is a little bit more easier, but you do have to take your time with just using sprays to adhere the lace versus having a lace glue that's gonna be stuck and you know it's not going anywhere. And after you cut the lace, I would highly recommend using some alcohol, using a Q-tip to really get in and get all of that excess spray and stuff off so that it looks really good. And then after I clean it up, I'm still going back in with my ORS wig spray just to ensure that everything is secure and laid down. Now that I have everything laid how I wanted to, I've just seen how it will look in the side part, but I'm still gonna go in with that lace melt spray that I showed you guys, that's by Even. And I really like this spray. I feel like it's very tacky. It adheres really, really good. So now I'm just going back in and I'm gonna add my headband and we are just, we're just gonna let that sit. I let it sit overnight. And then I came back and we're gonna start this styling. So you see the lace is <laughs> nowhere to be found. It looks really, really good. I like it. I'm just going in with some shine spray and just prepping for my style. So for the style, like I said before, I wanted to try something different, something I never done before. So I feel like this style was very, very cute. So I'm just making sure everything is flat and stuff and getting right into it. Now, before I did anything else, I made sure I took out the perimeters of the front because I knew I was gonna have the two curly bangs in the front. So I just wanted to make sure I separated those first before we went in and did anything else. So for the most part, this unit was the lace, like the hairline was 
plucked really well. Like it, I would, I would suggest this being like a pre-plucked unit because the hairs weren't very, very thick and I only had to pluck a little bit when doing my baby hairs. And when I tell y'all I use the ORS wig grip gel for my baby hairs. And when I tell you I'm not using anything else, I've been trying to get my hands on this for a minute and I finally got it. And it did everything that it needed to do. This gel works so well. No, this is not sponsored or anything. This is just a product that I've seen people saying they really like and I wanted to see what all the hype was about. Now this works so much better than got to be Gorilla Snot. Anything else y'all see me lay my edges with, this works so much better. It literally is so tacky and it has castor oil in it. So that's really, really good for, I would say it's good for this stuff being on your skin. And even if you wanted to use this to style your hair, I don't feel like it's that tacky to the point where it'll mess up your natural hair. But this stuff works really, really well. I just lay my edges down and put a little blow dryer on it, my little fan, and it stayed. Like, it looks so cute. It made me doing my edge, like it made, doing edges way easier so for my beginner babies make sure you guys go pick that up because that works so well so now i'm just using a foam just to get this ponytail right i didn't want to use too much spritz or sprays i feel like the foam will be well and i'm making that ponytail And now I'm just following up with that ORS spray just to ensure that this will stay. And I feel like I'm going to be ended up using a lot of ORS products because they're just so good. Their wig products are really, really good, y'all. Make sure y'all go and cop because I really love these products. Every time I use them, I really love them. And then when I ran out, I just never went to go get some more. So I just worked with what I had. But I'm legit just going to stay using that because every time I use those products, it's just always good vibes. So now we are starting to get this front together and I'm just going to curl my hair after this and we are going to be done. Uh, you could wear it straight like this if you wanted to, but I feel like the curls will be so cute. So I'm just spraying my hair with some holding spray and I'm using my T3 one inch curling iron as like, I'm using it kind of like the wand curl method because I feel like this is just so much easier than putting it around the barrel and I'm just gonna do that all around my head for the curls you want to curl away from your face and that is going to give you the look And this is how I looked before I left the house. My, I did like a little bit of makeup a little bit and I had them sitting in like the curls while I did my eyebrows and stuff. Like I had them sitting in the pins, but this came out so cute. It's not too much. It's just the right amount of, you know, giving what it needs to give. It's so cute. I feel like I'll do this style again and I really loved it.
All right, you guys, so this is the end result for this hairstyle. I feel like this came out so cute. I wanted to do something different. I never did a hairstyle like this before, like with the back and the little ponytail. So I feel like this is really cute. The ponytail was actually really cute. Came out so cute, I really love it. If you guys want all the information for this unit, make sure you guys click that description box down below and shop Brie Cool Hair. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give your girl a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be back with more videos soon. Stay blessed. Jab Babies, be out.